All right, this is Jason with Wolf Overlanding, and today on my 2022 Diesel Gladiator Rubicon, we had more problems. So, this drag link joint was making a squeaking noise real bad, fully turning. This joint right here is bad. You can put your arm on it while someone moves the steering wheel back and forth, and you can feel the play in this ball joint right here, just going up and down. The socket was bad, and it was all dried out on the inside. So I have 15,000 miles on this Jeep, but I mean, I've been out to Moab, overlanding all over the Carolinas and Georgia. So I don't know, there's no excuse for it, I guess, but I ordered another Mopar part, put it on. If it breaks again, I'm probably just gonna go with Synergy. As you know, I have the AEV lift kit with the rims and everything. This is the AEV stabilizer. So I got rid of the bracket here and the bracket here for the factory stabilizer location. You know, the factory stabilizer location is down here, right here. That's the first thing to hit a rock when you're off road. So Synergy makes a relocation which moves it up out of the way. You move this bracket, remove this bracket, if you saw the factory um, stabilizer, you have to drill out the eyelet to a half an inch, but the AEV one, you don't have to drill because it's already that big. And what you do is you'll install this right here, and this is where it grips on here, and then you replace the, this uh, drag link bolt right here with their bolt, and it slides on here. The only problem I have is on full lock passenger, it ever so slightly rubs right here. But again, that's not full lock. We're gonna try this. We replaced this joint right here and we obviously aligned it. And we're gonna see how this plays out. So this is my third issue I've had with my Gladiator. Bought this in February of 2022. My first issue right off the showroom floor was the engine bay fuse box, the connector underneath the fuse box that ran the aux switches. That connector was, someone jammed it in there so the pins were bent. I was able to repair it and put it back together and it's working fine. And then my second issue was when we were driving out to Colorado, it kept going into limp mode. Apparently it's a software glitch. I haven't had any issues since, but then again, I haven't been driving for three days straight like I was then. But apparently the DEF system was not per, uh, injecting into the exhaust. Basically the exhaust wasn't getting hot enough. I believe it's a software issue. That's what Jeep told me. I haven't had it updated yet, but I plan on just ripping all that out anyway. I did buy a scanner that does allow me to, do, to force a DEF regen. So if it happens again, I could force the regen and make it, you know, do its thing. But other than that, while I was down here, I noticed my sway bar, the bolt was missing on there. So I checked all the other sway bar bolts. They were all tight. I don't know if I missed that and didn't tighten it down all the way, but uh, that would explain the clacking noise I had. 15,000 miles, I need to start thinking about doing the differentials. I did do the transfer case fluid with Amsoil already, which that takes like an automatic transmission fluid, but as you can see, I'm now sitting on 35s. I got a 37 inch spare. So I plan on going 37s when these 35s wear out. I bought these used for 500 bucks for the whole set. Not a bad deal if I do say so myself. We did also install the metal cloak uh, sway bar link support because my bolt holes where the stock sway bar bolts up, they were breaking apart. So Metal Cloak does see that problem. They make a huge, I mean, look how thick that is. Thick reinforced um, mount for that. So went ahead and did that. The 37 barely fits, but you can fit a 37 inch spare under here. So anyway, I did have that noise in the front, which ended up being that sway bar. So I just wanted to check these so it looks like this was hitting right here so i'm gonna take pliers and bend this out of the way yeah, that's not annoying i can get a nut on there well guys that's it for a quick walk around with the problems i've had so far with the gladiator i still wouldn't trade it for the world i mean people say oh you know 
junk, yada, yada. But I still wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, we had three uh, issues. None of them technically left me stranded. I was able to just clear the codes when that death system happened. But other than that, it's been really great. Uh, very capable, perfect for overlanding. We're definitely gonna go to 37s once these tires wear out, just so it fits the profile better. There's still have plenty of gap when I fully flex out and this suspension setup is made for 37s. Squadron, uh, Baja Sports, uh, Embers put in the bumpers. Baja Designs makes the bracket for it. And I got these uh, LP9, uh, Baja, or, well, not Baja Design, they're Amazon knockoffs, but they're pretty cool. Well, everyone, thanks for making it this far. Please like and subscribe for more modifications to the Jeep. And I have new adventures still in the pipeline coming out. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.